Hey, what's up? It's Jared with State of Tech, and today I am reviewing the Asus Chromebook C202S. This is a rugged Chromebook that is uh, very inexpensive. It's under, it's right around $200 at the time that I purchased it. And the reason that I bought this is to replace or maybe just add another option in my household. Now we have a Chrome kind of desktop device that just isn't very convenient because of where we have it located. And it would just be so much easier to have something mobile. Now I had a Chromebook for my kids before, but it got kind of old and just wasn't running very well. So I got rid of it. Uh, but now I think it's time to get another one considering my oldest is in second grade and he has some homework that he has to do just about every night. And there's also a couple of websites that he goes on for his class so that he could practice his spelling and reading and all that stuff. So this looked like a good option because of the rugged build. Uh, I was super excited that they um, that they have a rugged build laptop that is uh, you know relatively decent price. Um, and so when I when I got it, I pulled it out of the box. I was I was pleasantly surprised. It's got a rubberized coat around it that's nice and thick, so it's going to absorb a little bit of a beating. Um, the keyboard has nice big letters with uh, the keys having two millimeters of travel. So it actually feels pretty nice on some Chromebooks. The keyboards are not that great. So this this feels decent. It's not amazing, but it's definitely decent. The trackpad is going to take a little bit of getting used to. It's um, kind of a, a small trackpad and it's not super responsive, but for a $200 laptop, it doesn't do half bad. So after a software update, um, now you can install Android apps on the Chromebook, which is going to make it amazing. The problem that I had with Chromebooks before is when I'd put games or something like that on here, it was always challenging for my kids because the games were always, you know, Chrome browser games or, you know, something that maybe was Flash and I don't, you know, Flash doesn't run on these and there was just always issues there. And so now that Android could run on here, I can load on some games for my kids to play when they're not doing their homework. And so that's definitely gonna work out really well. Now, uh, you can have multi-users on a device like this, so you just simply log out and add another user. What I've went ahead and done is created user accounts for all of my kids that are, uh, you know, just email addresses that I made for them that they don't even use, but they'll thank me later because they'll have their own at Gmail account that's their name. Um, so uh, I, I, keep, I get them logged in so that they can definitely go and uh, use everything on their own account. My oldest has been playing around with a little camera that shoots video and photo. And so there's an SD card slot here on the side so he could put his SD card in there and load his photos and stuff into uh, Google Photos because Google Photos is uh, unlimited and so unlimited uploads to that. And so he can store all of his photos and edit them and have fun. And then of course there's Android apps that you can load to even further edit your photos such as Snapseed or even Lightroom Mobile if you wanna get crazy. I think that this laptop might not have quite enough power to use some of those more uh, you know, heavy lifting apps. Um, this, this has uh, 16 gigs of storage and has four gigs of, of RAM which for Android isn't too bad. Um, you know, that would be okay for, you know, loading a few apps, but 16 gigs isn't a whole lot of storage for a device. Once you start loading a couple of games on there, you're going to fill that up pretty quick. So you're going to want to be careful as to how many games that you put on the laptop. And I'm going to have to be careful because we'll end up having at least three user accounts, if not four on here. And with a couple of games per user account, that's going to fill up pretty quickly. So, um, other things that are interesting is uh, there is USB type A 3.0 on either side. There's one on each side. There is an HDMI port, there's a headphone jack, and then like I said before, there's an SD card reader. It has surprisingly decent audio. Now let's talk a little bit more as I get this game loaded up about the durability. One of the reasons that I wanted to go with this is because it has a spill-proof keyboard, which means if some water spills or something like that on the keyboard, it's not going to kill the total uh, laptop and, and it's going to be garbage after that. It does come with a power adapter. The power brick is really small. I like that. And a power cable here that you just plug in. Uh, the battery life from what I've seen online is fairly average for a Chromebook. You should be able to get, uh, you know, four or five hours of typical use. All right, so here's the music for the game. Go ahead and turn the audio up a little bit. 
It's not too bad. Audio is not too bad, but it also has a headphone jack. So when your kids are playing on it, they can put headphones on. You won't have to hear anything at all. The screen is uh, a little over 11 and a half inches, typical for a Chromebook, and the resolution is average at best, but for the price point, you can't really complain. Um, but like I was saying, let's go ahead and take a look at the laptop itself. What I like about this raised uh, area here is that it kind of kicks the laptop up a little bit. Since it is a little bit thicker of a laptop, it feels really good. And then also when you're carrying it, it gives you something to hold on to. I absolutely love that. Laptops these days don't have much to hold on to. And especially since my kids are gonna be carrying this around, they need something for their hands to grip or this laptop's gonna end up being dropped quite often. Uh, so the durability though is definitely gonna help. Um, there is some flex to the screen, but it's not too bad. I mean, I wouldn't wrench on it and you can definitely kind of see a little bit down between the plastic here. So I would say that if, you know, you don't want to test the spill factor on this laptop. I don't know if water can get on the screen or anywhere else on the laptop or in the ports. I would definitely be careful and not push your luck. The reason that I like this though is that it does kind of have a recessed area for the keyboard. The keys have good travel. And so if a spill happens, there's plenty of room for spill to go without it going into the monitor or anything. It's, it's probably not going to handle a very large spill, but definitely the keyboard and the trackpad are gonna be okay. And I like that uh, because I have some Kindle Kids Edition, uh, little Kindle Fires for my kids, and they are, those Kindle Fires are nasty. You know, kids have, you know, dirty fingers all the time, and as many times as you ask them to wash their hands, uh, they're definitely, um, they're definitely not gonna remember all the time. And even then their hands don't stay too clean for very long. So uh, with this, I feel better about, you know, uh, cleaning it often, you know, with bleach wipes or something like that, uh, just to clean it down. It's definitely going to take the beating a lot better than most other Chromebooks that are at its price point. Other than that, the rest of the specs are very average. It has an HD, what they call an HD camera that you can take photos with. I'm sure that you might be able to take videos with it if you loaded an app from Android that uh, was a camera type of app. Um, I've went ahead and installed Instagram on here just to play with it and see what I can do with Instagram. Um, but I haven't, uh, I haven't really tried doing anything other than taking an HD photo, which still is relatively low resolution. Um, but if you were to do something like use Google Hangouts so that you can chat with somebody, or even I'm sure you can use Google Duo on here and even kind of FaceTime with somebody else on a mobile device. Um, it's definitely going to be good enough for that. So the Chromebook here, this Asus is not too bad. I'm pretty impressed with it so far. It's definitely not very powerful. It's not going to handle some of the more intense games that require a little bit more processing power. Uh, and then with that storage being only at 16 gigs, uh, it's not going to hold a ton of apps. So we have to be careful how many apps we install. And from what I can see, there isn't really any way to expand the storage other than to maybe put an SD card in it. And if I put an SD card in it, we might be able to put some of the Android apps on it in the same way that a Android phone has uh, uh, the ability for an SD card, some of them do, and you can offload some of those apps onto the SD card. Um, but I'm not 100% sure. Those are things I'm gonna have to investigate as I spend time more with this device. So I'm excited to take it home and share it with my kids. They're gonna be super excited. I'm gonna feel more at peace because it has a little bit of a rugged design and I know it's gonna last longer than if I'd went with something more of a standard design Chromebook. So there's links in the description below to where you could pick one of these up or see the pricing and other specs uh, through Amazon. Um, clicking on that link and buying it definitely supports our channel and we appreciate that, but that's not why we're here doing this. Um, we definitely have purchased this. I purchased this with my own money to take home and use for my kids. So this isn't a sponsored post or anything like that. It's simply something that I decided to buy after doing some research and I'm excited to let my kids use it. And uh, hopefully it will last us for uh, a little while and we'll get some good use out of it before um, you know either it becomes not powerful enough or some sort of damage happens to it that's so extreme that we'll have to get another one. So anyways, the Asus, uh, what is it, the C202S, not too bad. I'm pretty impressed with it so far. We'll see how it lasts. Make sure to follow along on Instagram and Twitter. We definitely post occasionally to those social networks, and uh, I'll be posting some photos and stuff of 
this laptop in use to the social networks. Click on that subscribe button to be notified when we put new videos out. Give it a thumbs up if we uh, did a good job on this video, and I hope to see you back here soon on State of Tech.